let's talk about skim matrices and skim routes or shortest routes between nodes. Let's open a map and this map already has a selection of nodes. Welcome to nodes. Selection for centroids. And it already has our network. Network we created uh, open. So as we can see here in the bottom of the screen. So let's create a path. So network path, shortest path. Click here. Here. 6.5 miles. And this is the path. Okay, I'm minimizing each test. I could be minimizing time. If that's the case, now the path changes. It's here, 13 minutes. If you don't want the screen to pop out every time, you can click an option, report cost, okay, and just keep doing path, right, from one to all the others. If you want to do only for this, to this, you clear the nodes, click on them, and find the path. Okay. Now, let's we can do this all at once. We can come to all the, from all the centroids to all centro to all the centroids. We can click on network path, multiple path, minimize time from centroids to centroids, and let's say put in a matrix file. Let's not worry about skims now. The skim, the f there's al always one skim that we get that is whatever we're minimizing. We can get a skim, let's say each dist. So we're gonna make a skim for distance too. Okay, okay. We have to give a name to my desktop. Skin matrix. Okay, here we have a skin matrix. I could have, I could want something different too. I could want routes. I could want to see the path. I'm gonna open this screen, this skin really fast to show you what it is there. So, matrix, if I can find it here, it's here. So one for time and one for distance. This is not minimal distance. This is the distance that corresponds to these times, to these minimum times. Okay? So, let's leave it open here on the side. We'll come back to it later. Let's perform the procedure again. Network path, multiple path. Same thing, nothing changes. Route system. Let's ask for no skims. OK. Just press OK. We're going to need a... We're going to generate a set of files here. So I recommend you to create a new folder called skim routes or whatever name you find adequate skim routes press save okay this is the result okay so the path from all the links from from all the centroids to all the centroids I'll show you really quick how to format this one First thing, you see that there's an offset here for all the routes passing in a certain link. So click in Palette, Color, it can be rainbow, it doesn't matter. Offsets, everybody on center line. It can be 2.5, it doesn't really matter. Let's change the color to black, make it a little bit easier. Okay. And let's put to 
topology. This is important. That's okay. If you go now, now we have out to wall, so it's a bit messy here. Let's open the database. And let's sort here by this field route name. Click with the right, or just click there and click increasing. You see that it's one two two, one two three, one two four, and two one two eight. This is called track one. So track the number that is in the track field is actually the origin of the routes. So if you want one, the shortest path from one to all other centroids, we just have to select track equal to one. Let's test the theory. Go back to the map. Track equal to one. Let's say origin in one. Create set. OK. Let's go here. Selection settings status make this invisible and what is going to be visible is only the selection apply okay now press f5 so this is no one right so this is the shortest path for for all other centroids so here you have the shortest path from one to all to show from 2 to all, let's say, let's go from 4 to all, origin 4, okay, can come here, status, inactive, from 4 to all, you see the arrow leaving 4 and entering all other centroids. That's it, good luck.